I would like to start off with just saying um, we are so gullible. We're so easy to fall in belief of what the media promotes and we're so easy to believe in what the world's trends are. Matthew 8.16 and Matthew 8.17 says when evening came many who were demon possessed were brought to him and he drove out the spirits with the word and he healed all the sick this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah he took up our infirmities and bore our diseases the commentary of that says Matthew continues to show Jesus kingly nature through a single touch Jesus healed when he spoke a single word evil spirits fled his presence Jesus has authority over all evil powers and all earthly disease. He also has power and authority to conquer sin. Sickness and evil are consequences of living in a fallen world. But in the future, when God removes all sin, there will be no more sickness and death. Jesus' healing miracles were a taste of what the world will one day experience in God's kingdom. We're also afraid to die. Maybe we're afraid to die because we haven't even thought about death. And since we have a thought about death, we're unsure of it and we're unknown. We're unknown. And it's unknown. But if we don't educate ourselves, we continue to ignore it and only live in the world. We believe that temporary things will last forever. So when we have a mindset of believing in the temporary things, when temporary things happen, we break. We panic. We scatter. As we are doing now. Romans 12.1 no, Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to, to test and approve what, what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. The beginning of this verse, Do not conform to the pattern of this world. How many of us are conformed and follow and are slaves while being dragged to the patterns of this world? It's a pattern. Disease, 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 shootings. It's a pattern. That we fail to see. But we continue to live. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. What does conform mean? Conform. One of the definitions I found says. Behave according to so socially acceptable conventions or standards. Behave according to to socially acceptable conventions or standards. What does conventions mean? Convention, a way in which something is usually done, especially within a particular area or activity.
it's a continual thing in this world. If you read in Ecclesiastes, it just, this world just circles the problems. Problems go around and round. Round and round. It's so meaningless. As I said before, we're so afraid of death. You won't be afraid of death or you won't be afraid to die if you know where you are going to go after you leave this world. Why do we panic? Why do we panic when a disease comes? And then uh, we look death in the eyes or threatened because our lives may be taken from us. Even though daily, at any moment, your life can be taken from you. So with the disease that's so loud, or a virus, I should say, that is so loud in the media, we panic. But if the media is quiet, we're quiet. But death is still an option in each day. We could die from health. We could die from an accident. We could die from car accidents. We can die anytime. So how come we're not panicked? We only panic when the media tells us to panic. Philippians 120 through 124. The Apostle Paul is reading this and saying these, this, not reading it, but saying it. This is the Apostle Paul. I eagerly, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or death. For to me, to live is Christ. And to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. For me, I get that Paul is saying that it will be a true blessing to him to die. He's excited to die. Because he knows that as he leaves his world in this earth and as he leaves the body, he's going to heaven. He's going with the Lord. So he cannot wait. He's not scared at any means. To die. But if he lives. It is still a blessing. It says if I am going to, on. If I am to go on living in the body. This will mean fruitful labor for me. Fruitful labor. He will get fruitful labor. As he so sows. Continues sowing.
and he will continue to share the gospel on earth to unbelievers as Christ works through him. So it's a win-win to live or to die. What an amazing mindset. What an amazing place Paul is in life to look at death and life as both blessings. What do we have to do to not be afraid of death? To be excited for death? What do we have to do to be excited to live and not be afraid to live? We have to know that we're going to be accepted. We'll have to know that we have treasures. In heaven. And we have to know that our name will be written in the book. When we face judgment. But if you're scared of death, you might be scared for a reason. You might be feared for a reason. Because deep down inside you, inside your soul, you know you're not ready to die. Because all the things and all the acts you committed, and you know you're not forgiven. You have this heaviness, you have this burden because all the mistakes you made in the past, all the people you did wrong, all the things you did wrong, they still sit on you. You feel guilty and you feel ashamed. This is why you fear death. Second Peter 3 9 says the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness instead he is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance Let this be a warning. Don't panic. Open your eyes and realize that life is only a matter of time here on earth. But true life awaits you in heaven. But you must repent. of your sins if you're scared to death stop ignoring it go to the one who has control over it To die is to live. You're not truly alive until you die. And this goes here on earth. Die to yourself and you will come alive in Christ. Deny yourself, 
die to your ways and come alive in the Lord's ways. Accept. Take your blinders off. Open your eyes. Stop, be, stop being slaves of the world. Accept that the Lord is, Lord Jesus is your Savior. Believe that He has died. And he rose again. Confess. Confess your sins. Death can happen any time. In any day, in any moment. Don't let the world bully you, but the virus, because the world is in control of death. The Lord knows when your time is and when he will take you. Don't be afraid of death, and you won't be afraid of death. If you have confidence to the one who gives you life. And know where you're going when you leave this body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're praying for you guys. I'll be praying for this world. Thank you, Lord, for these words and your wisdom. <laughs>